Hello and welcome back to the channel and another video on Serious Well Salvage. I hope you're all well. Right now, today we're going to be completing the Vitara because it's back from paint and how good does that paint look? It looks, I mean, you can't tell it's been painted. Honestly, it looks really good. I know the light's not the best in here, but it, the match is perfect. Um, it really is, it really does look good. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I'm going to spin round and I'm going to show you. There we go. And it still looks blue. It's a weird colour this. And I say in real, it's not blue. But just look at the just look at the reflection in that door and the colour match. It really is a really good job. So what I had done was they painted the door, they flicked into the back door, and they flicked into the wing, and then the wing and both doors have been lacquered. And it really does look good. Very, very happy. Yeah. Stunning job. So the people I used to do this paint job, let me just find my phone. Because I said I'd give them a shout out. So it's only fair. Because um, like I said, I'm really happy with what they've done. And uh, they're going to be doing some more stuff for me. So let me just find his message. There it is. So obviously, I'm in the Rosendale area. So if you need any paint work doing, the company's called Flawless Auto Refinishing. And if you, if you look on Facebook, they're on Facebook, they're also on Instagram and they're on Google as well. So yeah, search Flawless Auto Refinishing on Facebook, you'll find their Facebook page, uh, Rosendale area near, near Rottenstall. If you're in the area, you need some work doing. I'm not gonna tell you how much this was because, you know, well, I think I got a, a really good deal because I'm going to take more work, so do you know what I mean? I don't want to make them sound that they're extremely cheap, but they are very, very, they're, they're very, very well priced, trust me. So I'm sure if you ring, find his number, Facebook, Flawless Auto Refinishing, give the lad a ring, he's called Midge, mention me, and I'm sure he'll, he'll help you out. He'll do you a cracking deal, and you can see for yourself the job. The job's come out really well. Great shine on it, it's so nice, flat and smooth, and the paint finish is phenomenal. So yeah, I can't rate him highly enough, done a great job for me. So check him out. I'll put, I'll put links to the Facebook and Instagram um, in, the, in, in the video at the bottom, so you can just click on the link. Uh, right, uh, Mr Chainsaw's decided now is the perfect time to start chainsawing wood again. I'm sure he waits until they can hear me talking on camera. Because they can hear me talk, I can hear them talking, so they must be able to hear me. But then he waits, the second I start videoing, the chainsaw starts. So yeah, sorry, but we're going to have to continue. Right, today, like I said, I want to finish this car. All we have left to do is the inside. Which means the four seat belts that we got rebuilt by the airbag team. We have a seat, all standard original with the airbag in to swap over. And um, in the boot, well, in the back of the car, in that box, we have the curtain airbag for the driver's side. And then that is that, is that this car is complete. A good clean. And the only thing we're going to be left with then is, oh, I've got indigestion. The, the little dents, um, I don't know how it's showing up there, there. Dent there, there's a tiny one there. Um, this one on the boat. There's nothing a dent man can do with that, I don't think. Might get. I could put some badge over that or something. I don't know. Maybe. Um, there's a tiny one. There. I mean, I'm being a bit critical here, do you know. End of the day, remember, it is a seven year old car. So, uh, I'm undecided really. What I might do is. Well, it's either way, it's either I get them sorted or. I knock off what it would cost us autumn. 
Oh my god, because a lot of people probably won't be bothered about bits like that. None of it's broken the paint. I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, so yes, I think we just need to get on with your seat belts really. Then all the interior can go back together. Like I said, flip the, flip the seat, curtain airbag, and then yeah, it's gonna need a good clean. But it's almost there. So shall we get on with it? I think what I'll do is I'll pull that driver's seat out, gives us a bit more room in there to be doing the seat belts. And then do the belts, do the curtain, and then we'll throw the seat back in at the end. I think that's the best thing to do. Right, I've got the driver's seat belt in, trims are back on. So before I put the passenger one in, I thought I'd just run through the uh, the way to do it with you, basically. So obviously I've got the seat out. The seat are just held in with four bolts. There and there. They're all the same, and they're these. I mean, you can get them out with just an 8mm socket, as long as it's not too tight. And then just two connectors, because obviously the airbag system. Uh, yeah, I get the seat out. In terms of the seat belts, I'm across. So remember, I took these. I didn't take these off on camera, did I? So there's your airbag plug. You have to make sure the yellow bit is pushed out before you try and connect them. Uh, let's see if I can get that quickly, like that. Otherwise, it won't connect. And. They're very simple, easy seat belts. This is just gonna sit in there. Uh, locates on two little uh, prongs on there. And then you got uh, a bolt in the bottom, bolt in the top. Let's put them in loose quickly. Stop seeing up and that coming off. Down in there, down in there. Your buckle, not buckle, but like a, a belt hinge. 
that piece will screw into there but you've got to put a piece of trim on over this first and then the bottom of it just returns back down and fixes into the body literally behind the carpet there the trims on these are held on by the actual seal the actual door seals so the little pegs on them you put the door seal over them and it holds them in place uh, very easy really I'll show you on this one here I'll get out first it'd be easier oh. if I pull this seal off see there little tabs and there it's a bit hard it's a bit dark where is it there there seal just goes over it goes in that slot and that holds them on once they're all on it's nice and neat and tidy looks fine so yeah i'll get the other seat belt in now off camera don't think you need to see that and then we'll move on to the rears the rears a bit tricky to get to i've not completely pulled out the trims because you have to take the back seats out to get them out so they're basically in here they fix onto that and they fix onto that this is your wire um i'm not going to be able to explain too much of that to you i'm just probably going to i'll do it on camera but I can't, i'm not going to go through the fixings because like i said i don't want to take the bench out the back seats sorry uh to get them out fully so i'll be squeezing in a bit messing around um right yeah so let's carry on i'll get this uh passenger seat belt in Right, so all the seat belts are now in and all the interior is back together except for that seat. Look in the boot. It's all built up nice. It's all good, all really good. Whilst I had that to cover off the inside of the boot as well, I managed to pop out that dent. That one that was there. Which is a lot better now. So I mean yeah, there's still that tiny one. I'm not risking messing with that and i might try to pop that out at some point we'll see so we've got the curtain airbag left and the seat the seat's easy curtain airbags are a pain as you can see here this front one is the old one i've just removed and the back end is the new one so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 fixings holding that up and there's no room it's really tight up behind up there basically so i can't get camera in there you can't even get your hands in there properly and it's simple simple to do the first fixings there if you get that one in it's just a case of where it lies it screws in and it's screwed in with 
Um, was it 10? However amount it is of these. 10 mil bolts. And they're tight. <clears throat> and they've nothing powered. I can get up there, so... It's a pain of a job, really. It's took me a bit to get that one out. My hands are itching as well because they've been rubbing on the end of this card. It's like fiberglassy card stuff, isn't it? So it's flame retardant. So the back of my hands are itching. Um, yeah, so I'll put this in now off camera. It's going to be a pain. It's going to take me a bit. And the seat is simple enough. Seat just bolts back in on your four bolts and plugs in. So I'll do that as well. And then we need to scan it, make sure the cords are gone, and that is it. Other than a very good clean, which it's too cold outside to do any cleaning, everything's frozen. It's good. But yeah, let me get I'll get this curtain air bag in, I'll get the seat in and we'll come back and we will check for any more cords. Right, okay, we are done. Turn that fan down a bit. Right, I've got a scanner on just to show um, the coals. So these are the coals that are stored now. So we go on airbag diagnose, read trouble codes. Um, right, so these are the ones. It's just, I don't know what if what it says on Suzuki whether current, sporadic, uh, active, but anyway, the stored. Trio trouble codes. I'm open. I, I I don't think can I not clear these on this? Does it have to drama craft send the um Am I gonna to have to send the ECU off? It's looking like I'm gonna to have to send the ECU off. Oh, I don't really wanna to have to do that. Let's see what happens. So yeah, we've still got airbag light on. Let's just try, I, I, I scanned right, and checked all the live data on this. Yeah, everything works. See all the ohms readings? They're all reading. So everything is right in the car, everything's plugged in. Uh, unfortunately, I just can't clear these cords. See, they're all still showing. Side airbag, curtain airbag. For instance, right, curtain airbag, driver side, live data. Um, passenger airbag, driver side, passenger side, seat man. Driver side, driver side, curtain airbag. Initiator resistance, 2.4 ohms, which is correct, fine. So yeah, they're all plugged in, they're all working. I just can't clock, clock, I can't clear the cords, which happens quite often, but I thought it was only when it was like your dashboard stuff. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to whip the, the, the um, there's nothing else though. I'm gonna have to whip out the, Airbag ECU. There's nothing else. I did go on auto scan. Was there anything in special functions then? Let's go back a sec when it decides it's finished loading. Oh, come on. Come on. Mm, yeah, um, Quite often with, especially more modern cars, you need specialist uh, equipment to reset. Um, airbag lights, is there anything in here for airbag? Key, language, Airbag reset. Let's try this. What? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. This function directly repairs or covers the memory chip of the airbag through the adapter. No, I'm not. Please. 
I'm not messing with that. <laughs> Next thing, I'll have an airbag in my face. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to whip the airbag ECU out, which generally they're under centre console. I will have to do some research to see where it is. But I have a guy. I've used him many times. I've mentioned him many times. Up, um... I'm going to say Leeds, I can't remember now. Airbagreset.com. Google that. It's mail order. You just pay, post it to him, and he returns it back to you a couple of days. He's really good. I've used him loads, so... I'll locate it. I'll get it out. Obviously, send it. He'll clear it all. He'll send it back. I'll replace it, and them cores will be gone. But everything else is done. The only thing I haven't done, like I said, I put... I put Oh, I just keep. Oh, never mind. I put that one out. I'm happy with that. That little one. It's a car park, car, car park ding. I am going to have a go at this at some point, but it's getting late, and I don't want to stay behind tonight. And I want to finish this video, so I will at some point pop the uh, cover off the back and just see if I can just knock it out a bit. But I don't want to damage the paint. You see, that's all. Like right, so that, we're not going to be able to do anything with. What's once a badge, a, a GB badge put in on it or something like that? Uh, other than that, it's a nice, clean, straight car. I'm quite, I quite like it, and it drives really well as well. I've been down the road in it. Um, I will put a new ticket on it, so it'll have 12 months, because it runs out May, so we're talking four months, aren't we? Yeah, it wants, it wants some more, and it wants another one. And I've also got oil and filter to do on this car, which will get done before it sells but I think that will be it for the videos on this there's nothing much there really to make another video out of I don't think anyway and I, I want I like to have enough content in my videos so yeah I think that is it for this video and this car so thank you as always for watching massively appreciated I hope you enjoyed this one I do like the car a lot I like this car um, it would have been done a lot quicker. It's just a, sh a shame we, we struggled to find them doors. Or maybe I should have just jumped on any colour doors straight away. But now knowing just how good that's come out, I can um, not only look at vehicles I maybe wouldn't have contemplated, uh, but when I do get cars that are going to need doors or whatever, I can... I can I have the option of buying them not in the right colour, knowing that I can send it to this guy. He turns them around quick for me. And the finish is great. Really happy with the finish. So like I said, don't forget, flawless auto refinishing. I will put the links in the bottom of the video. Check him out. You need any work, Rosendale area, near Rottenstall. Give the guy a call and he'll sort you out. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget, big thumbs up if you liked the video. And... Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.